Hi, welcome to today's yin practice. Today you are going to want a blanket, a bolster, or a pillow works just fine, and a block. You are also going to want to be near a wall. We're going to actually start practice there. So I'm going to bring a blanket folded into a nice little square under my hips. And then we're going to start in an easy seat up against the wall. So pressing back so that the base of your spine is pressed up against the wall. Shoulder blades slightly squeezed together. Nice long spine here, sitting up real tall. As you find your seat, allow your eyes to soften or close, giving yourself a few rounds of breath here. Settling into your practice, but keeping that seat nice and tall. Start to lengthen your inhales and exhales, beginning right here. You can keep your hands right on your lap or bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. We'll start to incorporate three-part breath here. You can exhale to prepare, pressing out all of that air. Then on an inhale, fill your belly, feel your ribs, fill up by your collarbone. Exhale from the collarbone, the ribs, the belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, collarbone. Exhale, collarbone, ribs, belly. Continuing with these three part breaths at a pace that feels good for you. Not concerning yourself too much if you can't feel three distinct parts yet. We're working towards that, but focusing first on filling the torso completely with air and then releasing to press all of that air out. Go a few more rounds at your pace. Give yourself one more round of that three-part breath. And when that's complete, return to your natural rhythm for a few moments here. Keeping your spine nice and long, shoulder blades gently squeezed together. Adding in a little movement here. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, stretching out that side of the neck. On an inhale, gaze down towards your lap, stretching out the back of the neck. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, look down at your lap. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. So a little half circle here, inhales to look down at your lap, exhale ear to shoulder, 
Give yourself extra time on either side if it feels good. Few rounds at your pace. Even out on either side. Pause next time you're looking down at your lap. On an inhale, lift your gaze all the way up towards the sky, opening the front of that throat. Exhale, bring your neck back to neutral, looking forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Eyes can softly flutter open as we make our way to our next shape here. Soles of the feet come together, keeping your back up against the wall. Hands can gently press into your knees, and press might not even be the right term here. Just a little weight here. Elbows stay close to the side body. Heels as close to your body as feels good, but remember we're holding at 70%. So we're sitting up nice and tall, finding that 70% edge. When you're ready, eyes soften or close.
Bring your awareness back to your breath. When you're ready, gently shifting out of this shape, it's a subtle shift. Pull your heels away from your body for more of a diamond shape, giving yourself as much space here as feels good. And then fold forward. Now I like to bring a block here at its highest setting and a bolster here. So I can kind of rest forward like this. Some bodies you might bring your forehead to rest on that bolster. Whatever feels best for you today, give yourself a little time to explore. And it may even feel best with no props. Today that's what's feeling best for me. Again, space here, heels pull away from the body, knees stay heavy towards the floor, and just the base of your spine now is pressed up against the wall. Everything else hangs heavy. Breathe here. Bringing awareness back to your breath. When you're ready, gently press your upper body out of the shape. You might shift away from the wall just a bit, soles the feet to the mat. You can let those knees fall side to side here. Some gentle windshield wipers. And we're going to prepare for supported fish. So take your time as we get there. You'll be shifting away from the wall just a bit now, setting up a nice little yogi ramp. So have your block towards the top of the mat, starting with it, maybe at its medium setting or possibly its lowest setting. Of course, you can always adjust. Bolster rests up against that, creating the ramp. I'm going to unfold the blanket for maximum coziness to lay over my low body. 
and then pressing the base of your spine right up against that bolster, recline back here, feeling that support under your head. Again, adjusting the setting or the placement of that block until it feels right for you. When you feel ready, hands can rest down by your sides, palms face up towards the ceiling, slight openness in the chest. You can stay here with legs extended long. Some bodies feel best with soles, the feet pressing into the mat, knees up towards the sky. Or you can even take your soles, the feet together, similar to that butterfly shape we've had in the other parts of our practice here. Again, find what feels good for you. Use a little time here to explore. And then when you feel ready, settle into stillness and quiet.
start to deepen your breath. Taking your time here. You can get out of this shape in one of two ways. You can roll over to one side, gently pressing yourself up, or press the palms into the floor by your hips, gently lifting your upper body out of the shape, whatever feels best for you. Preparing for our final shape before Shavasana, legs up the wall. So shifting your other props out of the way. You may want your blanket under your hips, similar to when we started an easy seat. I typically don't love the blanket here, but try it out. Find what works for your body. Bring one hip right up towards the wall. And then as you lower down, extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Adjusting here. You might have to ship, shift your hips just a bit away from the wall, giving yourself more space if it feels uncomfortable, almost like your legs are hyperextended. Pull the hips away from the wall, give yourself some more space. You might play with that blanket under your hips. And when you're ready, hands can rest on belly, open out towards the sides, or even behind the head like you're reclined at the beach. Take your time, settle into stillness.
check in with yourself here. We have a few more moments of practice together. You are welcome to stay right here if this feels good and relaxing. Give yourself time here. If your body is ready to shift into Shavasana for a more restful position, you can bend your knees, pressing those soles of the feet into the wall. And then slowly lower your seat or your knees down towards the mat, shimmying to your Shavasana shape. Taking your time here, setting up with whatever props feel best. You might lay the blanket over your body, bolster under the knees can feel really good. Again, taking care, finding what feels best for you. Once you've settled in, let your eyes soften or close, knowing your only job is to breathe, and I'll let you know when it's time to come out. body can remain still. If you'd like more time wherever you are, allow yourself a little more time there. If you're ready to close out your practice, start with gentle movement, maybe wiggling fingers and toes or rocking your head side to side. Deepen those inhales and exhales. 
When you feel ready, make your way to a fetal position on either side, pausing there for just a moment before you press up to any comfortable seated position. Eyes stay softer closed, returning to that tall spine from the start of practice here, sitting up nice and tall. We'll close with a collective breath. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this RAD community, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.